What is going on everybody? Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you this budget USB-C hub which I picked up from Amazon for about £26. So let's just take a quick look at the box. So first you will see it says 4K 60Hz. It's got a USB Type-C port, HDMI port, USB 3.1, I believe there's two and a port for your micro SD card. And here is a quick look of how it looks on the back. And there are two USB-C ports. And let's just do the uh, quick unboxing. Okay, so this is the uh, hub. And this is the uh, instruction manual. And uh, if you look at it, this is actually completely different to what I've got. It says it has a, a RJ45 port, display port, mini DP. Unless this is the wrong leaflet, this hub doesn't have any of those. So you can see we've got the uh, USB-C port here, which I believe is for power. Then the two USB 3.1 ports and then the USB-C port for data and then SD card and micro SD ports and then finally on the back HDMI port and this is the length of the USB-C wire not too long but anyway we're going to test this on the uh, Steam Deck so before I do any of that I'm just going to get the Steam Deck over here and I just want to go on to uh, the battery here and I've got the uh, official charger plugged in and charging at 17.3 watts we're about 99.4 percent so that's probably why so let me just take that off now put that to the side and then I'm gonna plug it in here grab the steam deck And the first thing you'll notice, well, you can see it is fully charged. And it's charging at the same wattage that we saw with the uh, official wire when it was directly plugged in. So in terms of the length, it won't be sitting behind the deck. So it will be sort of dangling. Okay, so next I'm going to test out the desktop mode. Okay, so now we are in desktop mode. So I'm just gonna plug in the uh, HDMI cable. And the screen has gone blank, which is perfectly normal. The first time that I done it, there were four prompts. The first one being uh, display to external display. That's the one that I chose. There were others including extend to secondary display and the others I'm not entirely sure. I think it's defaulting to uh, external display straight away because that was the option that I chose. Okay, so let's plug in a USB mouse. Okay, so as you can see, the cursor is working completely fine. Next, I'm going to choose, well, this USB-C flash drive. As you can see on the right hand side, um, it's been detected. And lastly, I'm going to select, well, go with the SD card. And again, you can see it has been detected. This is the uh, well, 512 gigabyte SD card. So I'm just going to mount that. And uh, let's try to copy something over. So let's, okay, I'm going to right click this, cut primary emulation roms so this is a wii u game roms paste one file and as you can see it is pasting the file here i think it's around uh, just under three gigabytes okay so that's transferred over successfully and um, let's try something here let's see Okay, Dolphin Emulator. Let's get that to full screen. Um, 
Metroid Trilogy. Let's double click that. And as you can see, this has gone full screen. And the next test that I want to do is going to be in the gaming mode and try a native Steam game. So I've got the overlay open and you can see that the game is running at full speed, 60 frames per second. Okay, so moving on to the next part of the video, and that is to see if the video still displays when I take out the Steam Deck charger. Okay, so the screen has gone blank for a bit, which I think means it's going to display the video. Yep, here it is. Okay, so something I want to mention is that the USB-C hub displays video when connected from my laptop and displays it to my monitor. So for £27, this USB-C hub is excellent for your laptop and your Steam Deck. And I didn't notice any kind of overheating for the time that I've used it. The only issue is the short cable length. If it's connected to your Steam Deck, it will be dangling as you can see here. So that wraps up for this video. If you have found it useful, then give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.